Hi, this is Quad Nomad. Welcome to my channel. So, um, just a few days ago, Trade New announced a new feature. So, now you can add variables to your alerts. And I think it's quite interesting because previously your uh, alert messages was just static text, but now you can make it dynamic to some extent. So, now let's go into a charting window and just let's look how it actually works. So I created small uh, indicator, it's a very simple uh, example. So this is basically Bollinger Bands with some additional arrows when price kind of breaks a Bollinger Band channel, but that's it. And also I added very simple um, alert, custom alert. So basically when I every time I have green candle, I, my alert is fired. I did this only just to check how, uh, how this stuff works. And I created based on this, I created uh, two um, alerts and I will explain to you how it works basically. So let's go to and edit it. So um, here is my uh, message. And as you can see, uh, if you want to include a variable into uh, your message, you need to include it with uh, double curly brackets. And uh, there are a number of um, placeholders you can use. So in this alert, I show you kind of basic uh, placeholders to display kind of basic information about um, about your ticker exchange, stuff like that. So um, also a uh, placeholder time uh, stands for opening time for current the current uh, bar. Uh, time now will show you exact time alert was fired. Also, you can get open high low close prices in the moment of alert firing. And also you can get volume for a current bar as well. So um, if we look at uh, this, uh, how this stuff works, you can see that, well, it's it's quite good. We have all the information we need here. So it's it, it works pretty good. Now let's go to the second, um, second uh, alert. And here you can find a bit more information. So um, in addition to kind of basic information, you actually can display values of all indicators you uh, plot on your um, on your chart, basically. So, for example, I created uh, my um, my alert for for my script I just created, and here you can see in the top in in status uh, kind of in status bar, you can find all these values uh, that I actually plotted on my screen. So we can see you have we have five kind of values, and the last two values stands for these arrows, uh, red and green arrows. And when I hover over the bar of, of this arrow, you can see that there is zero and one as well. So the, it's kind of numerical uh, representation of these arrows as well. So um, you, you can actually kind of include all these values to your alerts. And here is how you can do this. So basically the simplest um, way you can do this is to use this pl plot with an index to kind of access all, all of the things you plotted on, on the screen. So, but be, be careful, it starts with zero and I think you have like 20 of them. So you can actually plot 20 different lines and after that you can create alert and display all of them. So it's quite handy, but it's not very, very useful and it's not very convenient because if I will just in my code, if I will change order of plottings of all these lines, for example, it will all be broken. So it's, it's a better idea to, um, to access them using kind of its name. So what you need to do is you need to go to your script and make sure that everything you want to include into your alerts, you have a title. So set a title and after that use this uh, plot kind of, it's, it looks like a plot function and argument should be a name of uh, your, of your line. And, um, and basically that's it. You will uh, receive this number or this kind of value for your indicator. So it's quite simple. And if you, if you look how this indicator works, you can see that it works pretty good. We have all these numbers, so it's quite nice. The only my problem with uh, this is that actually I expect something a bit more um, sophisticated. For example, I really want to be able to create a kind of custom text in, uh, in the code itself because it, because it will allow me to create things of you know like any, any like very complicated things and he, it, but now it's not it's not possible and the problem is that for example you you have no um tools you have no features for example to edit some text uh, kind of custom text to your alerts 
only thing you, need, you can do now uh, is just include some numbers, some values uh, for, for your script. Of course, it, it is useful. It will allow you to create probably a bit more complicated trading bots, you know, and, but uh, unfortunately, I expect a bit more from trading. I hope they will add this stuff soon. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.